Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Ascension, episode 34. If you like this episode, please remember to like and subscribe. As always, mod list is down in the description. And with that, let's get into the episode. Now, where we left off last episode, a toxic fallout had just entered onto the map, and we now have to deal with that. Which, luckily enough, we do have a sizable amount of food stored, so I'm not too worried about that, but we will be experiencing toxic buildup here, as you can see, which is going to be a problem. Uh, but, unfortunately, we don't really have the luxury of stopping work, so nothing's really going to change. We're just going to have to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, what I plan to do predominantly this episode, though, is finish up the prison the hospital and uh, maybe finish these up as well just to get them functional uh, I did also think uh, these are probably going to be a lot more efficient in terms of keeping the greenhouses warm uh, as you can see this brazier here is only just barely keeping the heel root room it's not even keeping it warm enough so we gotta switch it uh, we did just finish researching leather tanning. So, uh, we do have some options available to us now on, uh, what we want to research next. Let's do, uh, let's research grilling and siege equipment next. That way we can do some long distance strikes and we just have something we can use to cook even more food. Uh, now, I also believe that, um, so this is giving us Toxic Resistance 30, but I did make it a bit quickly, so let's see if there's anything that provides better, better Toxic Resistance. I didn't really look too carefully, I kind of just went with the first thing. Let's see here now. Uh, let's see. Anything that covers the face might provide some sort of cover. Uh, we do. We should make more backpacks. That's for sure. Um, face mask. Fifty. Is that more than? Is that more than the veil? The veil is thirty-five. It also. Allows us to suppress slaves easier, but that does not matter to me. I want 10 of these gas masks uh, to be made. We're also going to make another one of these. Actually, we should probably make two of them because we have a lot of outfits that need to be stored. Prison's making good progress. And uh, Storch is now beginning to do the tilling of soil. So that's good. We'll be getting two more greenhouses up and running. Should help us uh, supplement our food supplies, as well as our medicine and whatever else we really need to grow year-round. And there we go. The prison is now complete, technically speaking. It has the beds, it has the table, and it technically has a bathroom. But the bathroom doesn't have plumbing, which is kind of a problem so we now need to go ahead and build some piping it's gonna be pretty simple we're just going to uh, pretty much just run it through the wall as much as we can all the way up until it gets here and then we just run it across it's gonna be very wood intensive but it should uh, should be good Allow that to just auto, uh, auto pipe it. Uh, we do need to go out here and grab up all this wood that we just have lying around. So it doesn't all just rot into nothingness. And there we go. So I, uh, I don't think I showed it, but I did switch Chrissy's work order just a little bit ago to prioritize hauling. I figure since... Christy here is able to go so fast they can uh, run around and refill everything while everyone's asleep, keep everything running, and then when they're done with that, they can craft. But I predominantly want them to focus on the uh, refueling as it is quite important. 
Also, face masks should take priority when it comes to uh, crafting. And as much as I hate to do it, we do just need to allow these to be made with uh, pretty much whatever we can use. Even if it's leather. Uh, leather parka doesn't sound too warm, but <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. And the prison is also now fully plumbed, so it can now function, which is very good. Let's go ahead and uh, dig up some dirt so that we can actually fill in the final bits of the pathway there. Didn't realize we ran out. Uh, I kept seeing this and thinking it was dirt. It is in fact not dirt, it is sand. It's a little mistake on my part. You know, I think the next big project, since we've now effectively done these t two uh, buildings that are were very important and just needed to get done, I feel like the next thing should be a bit more... It's not quite a vanity project, but it is less necessary than getting a functioning prison. We're going to get this fully set up. Now, I've been doing a lot of thinking on what I want to do with this building as a whole for a while, and uh, I do think we're going to keep it roughly how it is, i.e. it being the uh, cafeteria, essentially. Uh, it is going to need some changes to the general structure, but I think we could set it up uh, to be quite nice. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove... Well, we don't want to remove the floor outside, but we do want to remove the entirety of the uh, inside floor. All of it. It all needs to go. That it will be step one. And uh, with this last tile, the next two grow zones have been... Well, the next two greenhouses are now finished. With that, let's go ahead and set up some tiny grow zones for them. There we go. Now let's take a little gander at what we can grow. Hmm. I think we'll have this one grow celery. Has a higher yield than corn, but takes a full year to grow. Which, yeah, considering our grow season is exactly 30 days, I feel like it would be better just to grow that stuff inside in order to prevent it from uh, going bad. And what else could we grow? Hmm. We have many options. We could grow chocolate. That could be useful. You know what? Yeah, we'll have this one grow chocolate, this one grow celery, and this one grow heel root. Look at him go. Deconstructing all of it. Uh, so I think another thing we should do is uh, just deconstruct all these schools. Just all of them. We don't need them. We're going to replace them with proper chairs. So just deconstruct all of those. Even deconstruct this table. Get it out of here. We are going to begin almost completely from scratch, essentially, with this. Uh, it's going to be difficult to set everything up, but I think we can do it. I think the first thing we should probably do as well, though, is uh, get rid of these two doors. We may add them back at a later date, but for now, we only want the one entrance. And all the flooring has now been deconstructed. Which leaves us with a nice, empty workspace that we can now mess around with. So the real thing is, how do we want to do this? See, that's four. There's also four. So we need to put a wall here to make it even. Hmm, I think we also need to extend this wall a bit. Let's see, this one is six. This one is four. So we would need to extend this by two to make it even. No, but then that makes the inner area pretty small. Hmm. Let's extend it by one. Bring this in so that it is five. It should line it up with this. Like so. Get rid of that wall. Move this here. There we go. That should work. Yep. 
there we go and then we'll just we're just gonna use wood walls for now uh, we'll eventually replace them with slate but i just want to get them set up so that we can see what we're what we are working with here all right there we go the meal tray has finally been moved which means that we can now begin setting up the kitchen to be a little more kitcheny, i suppose I mean, having like an actual proper dedicated room for a kitchen alone is going to be a huge increase to our efficiency. So we're going to set it up like this, very simple. But it should help us out quite a bit. Alright, there we go. A basic kitchen has been constructed. Now let's make sure we use steel tiles to make it as sterile as possible. We'll put a wall-mounted torch lamp directly... Actually, we'll put the torch lamp here to light it up so that they can see. And then, uh, let's see, we got a stew pot we can build. Not sure we need it, but we can build it anyway. A meat smoker. Don't think we need condiment table either. Not even sure where we would fit that. But... We want to get as many of the little cooking implements in here as possible. That way we can use them all. Oh, good. I wasn't even paying attention, but the cocoa can, in fact, be planted inside of the uh, greenhouses. Not a lot of it, but enough that we can use it. So that's good. That is very good. And the greenhouses are now all sitting at a nice, cozy 70 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. So now we can smoke meat and we can make stew. Oh, look at that. It just goes automatically. And it needs to be kept warm. Mm. I'm not sure what smoked meat does for us, but uh, if it's good, I, see, I can see us using uh, a couple more of these. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The kitchen is now fully completed. All with steel tiles. And now we get to do the bathroom. Now, I'm thinking we're going to need to uh, switch up how these toilets work here. So we're just going to go ahead and deconstruct all of that. And the toilets. And we're going to move the toilets. No, don't build a well. Toilets. As soon as they, these walls here get deconstructed. Oh, I thought I might be able to fit an extra one in there. Hmm. Well, in that case... Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. All right, well, we got a weird shape here then, and we got to figure out how to make these toilets all fit. So what if we did it like this? Yeah, I think I can get behind having the bathroom set up like this more. We will need to do a little more plumbing, but that's fine. Nothing to be concerned about, and that leaves us with all this extra space here do whatever we want with and there we go the new bathroom has been constructed and now we get to do the joy that is setting up the main area so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the poker table right over here out of the way let's move the chess table here we'll put the henafafel to that word I still can't pronounce. We'll put that there. And then I think we can fit the pharaoh table in the middle, like so. And there we go! The recreational sites have all been moved, and an exotic goods trader. Ooh. Well, we'll wait for them to come close to the colony to trade with them. Uh, while we wait for them to get over here, let's go ahead and put some chairs in here. There we go.
put some chairs, and then of course we do need to put in some tables as well so that we actually have some seating. Hmm. Let's put like a table here, table here, put another table here, yeah, looks a little more like a proper little restaurant, less like a, well, cafeteria. I don't like those side those side chairs. And let's go to temperature and we'll build we could build a hearth. That would certainly look neat. I think we'll build a fireplace though and we'll put it right here by the bathroom. <laughs> Why not? Why not put it right by the bathroom? Oh! I didn't even notice. Jaleel is no longer paralyzed and is now a member of our colony. Now, let's see here. Jaleel already has the work schedule. Let's make sure we get them the proper job. Let's see. So Jaleel is going to be an entertainer, warden, and a researcher. Because that is what they're skilled in. Oh, and a doctor. I already got him set up as a doctor. Very nice. They cannot do combat, but that is fine. We can have them be a dedicated medic. And I didn't even notice, but these guys have approached close enough to trade with now. So let's go do that. All right, let's see what these exotic traders have. Uh, they got goats. I kind of want the goats. That, uh... Sounds pretty cool, honestly. And I mean, as nice as the Muffalo are, we only have female Muffalo. Getting some goats could, uh, could do us good. I think we'll do that. We'll get the goats. Uh, we can almost afford that, but we will need to sell them some stuff. We can sell them these mammoth tusks. We don't need them. We'll sell them those, and, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I'm willing to give them. We don't want to give them any of our ammo. We kind of need it. So we will be losing money, but we gain goats. Very nice. Where is our animal expert? Go where? Go rope the goat. Don't let him wander out. Ah, good. The second table has been constructed. That is almost enough chairs for everyone to sit at the same time. Not quite enough, but almost. And almost is good enough for us. Really wondering what this is gonna- oh, it's overheating. I uh, did not think it would start overheating, that is... didn't even think this room could get that warm. Let's go ahead and start venting it into the rest of the, uh, rest of the room. There we go, drop it back down to ideal. Weir's on an insulting spree, of course he is. Go ahead and go try to calm him down, Calhoun. Pretty please, don't let him make everybody super depressed. Everybody's already getting depressed for various reasons. Obviously they're tired, it seems. Tired, we're buffed, tired, off a of bedroom, yep, sick, yep, oh wow, oh wow, Ma Maze, why do you have so much? Why do you have 56? Uh, Maze should not have 56, that's not normal. Nobody else has gotten it that high. He's the only Oh, no. My Proctus has. My Proctus is at 40. Hmm. I think we might have to keep those two uh, contained for a little. Keep them from going out and getting all sick. And with that, 
The chairs have all been built. Everything in here is now constructed and fully operational. Now we need to build the floors. And I'm thinking we're going to keep up with this uh, rustic -y vibe and we're just going to use some planks. Like so. It is going to burn through our wood, but it should be fine. Uh, I'm going to have you kind of go on house arrest for a bit. You know, just to make it a bit easier, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make another new zone. And this will be the quarantine. They are only allowed to use the amenities inside. Let's go to, let's see, I believe it is in here. So, Maproctus, Maze, you two are now officially on quarantine. Go ahead and have a latch focus on cooking, seeing as we are almost out of meals. Uh, and you know what? I think that if we get the chance to, let's go ahead and make a singular lavish stew. Yeah, just do it once. And if we can make it, do it. And then we'll throw it on the stew pot. Only lavish stew. Oh, that's that's all the wood we have left. Mm. Yeah, those wood floors are expensive. So we're going to need to go ahead and once more go do mass deforestation. You know what? Uh, something else we should do because I feel really bad for having these guys sleep on the floor. Let's go ahead and build them some uh, heavy fur bed rolls. We're going to need these later on anyway in order to uh, do good caravans. Uh, so that they can sleep. So we'll go ahead and build three of those. Should have the heavy wool, heavy fur for that. And uh, that'll give some temporary beds in here. And then if, when we don't need them, we can just pack them up and store them. Simple and efficiently. Well, my Proctus and Maze are certainly happier, it seems. I'm just uh, sitting in this building. And the toxic fallout is gone! Oh, that's nice. We can finally just do our thing. Most excellent. And you know what? I feel like that's a good spot to end the episode, everyone. So, uh, a lot of good... So, that's really good. Really good. No more toxic fallout. That means animals will start showing up on the map again, and also that we don't have to worry about toxic buildup anymore. We just have to wait for all of it to uh, dissipate, which is going to take a while, but it will be done. So, uh, we got this, the recreation hall, almost complete. Got a couple more floors to do, and of course got to put some floors for the bathroom and some lights. And put these two corners on, but other than that, it's done. Prison is built. And uh, the greenhouses are done too, except for this one, but we haven't even started on it. And so, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode.